You want to learn how to make your own 55 gallon 1 6 scale drums? Well, stick around. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Paul Knapp coming to you once again from the man cave and today we got a little something in the workshop. We're going to learn how to make 55 gallon gas drums, oil drums, the cheap and easy way. I got just a little weekend project here on the workbench, just something simple. I know a lot of people have posted uh, videos on this as well. I'm just showing you my version on how I made my 55 gallon drums. Um, if you want to see different ways, I know Adam over at the uh, GI Joe Lost Chronicles. He has a great one on his turkey cans or chicken cans that he feeds his dog. Um, I know Jeff Shear. Uh, he posted one too on uh, his channel. So I'm going to show you how I make mine. Now I was making these years ago before I even had a channel. I had like this giant diorama of uh, just a ammo dump, oil dump kind of thing. So these are how I made mine in the past. And they were just your basic, uh, you know, vegetable can. And the trick to this is you got to have one of these okay this is a hand can opener but it doesn't uh, have sharp edges so it peels the lid off so what you can do as you can see here you can re-glue the lid back on just like I did these so um, I don't make any of the lids off I guess you could you know just paint the insides and use it as a fire barrel or something like that but um, if you get one of these from Walmart, um, that's the trick. You can save the lid, you run through the dishwasher, you take it, some goo gone and you get that sticker off the side. Then you can re-glue the lid back on and paint it any color you like. Now I know a lot of people have been showing these. These are perfect barrels for the 1 12th scale. Um, I actually did a video on how I Clean these up and paint them and they look great for 1 6 scale. You can see how much smaller they are than a regular can. Here is store bought ones. I believe, I'm not sure, I don't think this is G.I. Joe or Hasbro name brand. I think this is 21st century maybe. And this is the World Peacekeeper one I believe. This is probably the size that you want. Um, something that big. This was, like I said, definitely for uh, 112 scale. Here's the one that uh, Jeff made and sent out. Just pretty darn close to that height there. It is bigger. He's using uh, coffee cans, I think. But uh, still, um, Jeff goes the <laughs> extra mound. Put the gauges on there. Put his uh, did the detailing on the logoing. Enter team on top, even added the, the gas hook. So, but again, if you want to go that far, <laughs> great. But you can see how I just make mine, just simple barrels. You can use them as a diorama, just lay them on their side. And if you do, this way you have top and bottom um, by using the uh, can opener. Now, this can is also available in stores. This is, I believe, came with bubble gum inside it. Um, I bought it a year or two ago. These I found at five and below. This is pretty close. It's right in between these two 55 gallon drums. You know, it's not as big. It's a little wider. Um, but again, if you don't want to take the time and make your own, this is perfect. The only bad thing about this is, this is the lid that you have to use. Um, and it looks like bubbling ooze or something, I guess. You could paint that, I'm sure, but if you don't want to use this, um, that will come off, but then you're not going to have, this is going to be your top, basically, if you don't want it to open. So um, you can use it like so. That's the only bad thing about this. With the little ones, this lid will pop off. I can do it with one hand here. This lid will pop off, and this green ring can come off, and you don't have to have that ooze on there. You can just show it. Um, as a barrel but again way too small for one six scale you would want this one if you're going to go with a store-bought one 
And again, this was not at the dollar store. I found this at Five Below. As far as the opening for the top, you can see Jeff uses a screw, which looks pretty good. These ones are molded in. I just go with this scale tacks and I'll just drill a small hole and put the tack in and I don't even have to glue it. it stays pretty good. You can leave it black or you can paint it the same color as a can, but I think these are pretty close to the size of that and it does, you know, kind of look raised up a little bit. Sometimes I'll put two in, sometimes I'll put one in, but um, you know, they do the trick. And again, this is only if you're trying to make a ton of these, you know. If you only want one or two barrels, I mean, <laughs> get the store-bought ones, you know what I mean? And uh, I guess they'll look perfect. But if you're making an ammo depot or you wanna make a bunch for a diorama, this is, this is how I do it. Again, simple uh, can of corn, can of green beans, whatever. Use this type of opener, wash it out, get your uh, sticker off of there, the sticky stuff from uh, the label, prime it, put a tack in. This is the uh, tacks that I use for the openings. And then uh, you're pretty much set to go. I'm gonna work on these and show you the finished product. So I figured while I'm working on these, why don't I just try Jeff's method and uh, get a four pack of tuna here and see how that uh, works out as well. I've never done it like this before. I think the, the ribs on the side will look much better than these multi ribs. It'll look more like a regular 55 gallon drum. Um, if you get four cans, that's almost the exact height of this almost the exact height of a coffee can and uh, just shy of the taller oil drums here. So I'm gonna take this one apart and uh, work on it as well. Now I know if you watched Adam's video on how he made his, he left the lids off and stuck them in between. I glued mine back on um, only because it showed that, that extra kind of ring around there. I thought it looked a lot better than leaving it off. Now the only bad part of this is you're gonna have to glue each one of these together um, after you glue your lid back on, but I think it's gonna look good. And the glue that I use is Goop, G-O-O-P. Seems to hold everything from plastic to wood to metal. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these. One thing about the uh, tuna fish cans though, they don't have much of a a residue on the side as far as the glue once you take those uh, labels off the side not like the cans the cans have a very sticky side that you got to work on getting that glue off where the uh, tuna fish cans do not okay so while those other barrels are drying I went over to five below just to see if they still sold these and they do these ones here run $5 and they do have like a little slit here on the top, which looks like you can make it into a bank. And 
these little ones are three dollars they also had these metal barrels which look to be the scale for one sixth uh, these were five dollars and these are all filled with candy Now, as far as the plastic uh, smaller ones that you buy from the store, I definitely would recommend soaking those probably overnight. This way the, uh, the decal, the sticker will just kind of rub right off. You won't have to do much work. Uh, the longer they soak, the easier it is. So I, I found if I just put them in uh, warm water and dish detergent, uh, that usually does the trick. So while the paint is drying on my metal cans, I went and soaked these ones overnight, cleaned them in the morning. All the residue, all the, the goo gone, took off all the residue. I'm thinking I'm not gonna use the, whatever you wanna call these, drip marks. I'm just gonna seal all these and paint them. The yellow ones I'm gonna leave yellow. I'm not even gonna bother painting those because they look pretty good, a um, little shiny, but I'm just going to put uh, decals on those and make those Adventure Team ones. These four, I think I'm going to paint maybe black. I don't know. The black seems to go on best and uh, maybe red. So that's where I am. Just waiting for the paint to dry on these. The one large can or the uh, tuna fish can one I made yellow. And the other six I just did black because I didn't have any black ones. I haven't painted the barrels yet that I picked up. And these I'm just gonna leave as is, just like the smaller yellow ones. I did go online and do some research. Cotswold Collectibles has this can, which is the Peacemaker, I think, Peacekeepers uh, version. And this is the size you really want, I think, that works best for uh, one six scale, which is really close to this one. Um, this is $4.99, <laughs> this is $4.99. So, you know, if, if you can't find these, this is probably your closest bet, but you do have this dripping top thing. Um, if you want to get rid of that and just go with a barrel upside down, you know, that's what it's going to look like. But again, you're paying five bucks here and five bucks here. So, you know, that's probably your best bet unless you want to do a lot of uh, cleaning and uh, you're knocking out a bunch if you really want. Uh, but. Anyway, it was a nice project for the weekend and uh, moving along. I did notice something when I purchased these newer containers. If you look, the older one is definitely a more solid yellow, almost exactly like the Adventure Team. And they went really lighter, lighter and thinner color on the newer one. So I've got four that are very light and then one that's a really nice dark color. So um, also, because these are made to be a bank, I guess, just took some black tape, put it on the bottom. I'm probably gonna fill that slot in with either some Milliput or uh, maybe just hot glue. And uh, I may put hot glue on the inside to change that up a little bit to make it look different. And I'm probably gonna spray paint these a different color. Uh, I'm thinking black, like bubbling oil or something, so. We'll see. So I bought a bag of these on Amazon and what am I going to use these for? Well, in every movie that you see, every radioactive material is glowing green, right? So I thought these kind of look like uh, glowing green. <clears throat> Why not add them to my hazardous waste material containers? And finally, once you're all done, you can either 
take a lot of time and paint with some type of stencil. That's what I did with these years ago. Or you can just print out something like this, cut them out and uh, stick them right on there. So that would be your last step once you're done with your painting. All right, so here is the finished product for the most part. Again, I made several, I would guess World War II era, Vietnam era, 55 gallon drums. These were just the uh, cans of green bean, cans of corn, and uh, the signage I put on those, you know, I made them look a little older, just flammable. Put, uh, you know, do not smoke around this area. Um, these turned out good, I guess, you know, for free. You know, just putting a couple stickers on the paint. Um, I did put some uh, red flammable on. Again, if you were if you were making a, a World War II uh, depot of some sort, this would look pretty cool. Um, it's definitely not going to work for the Adventure Team stuff. It's more military. Of course, these were the smaller cans that I showed you. And again, they really pop when you put that caution tape on the top and bottom. So... Definitely recommend that. Much smaller though, so uh, they'd go great with, uh, here, here's a 112 scale uh, uh, skid. I think they go much better there. Um, that's way too small of a, of a skid. And what else do we have? Oh, we got the, uh, the barrels, the larger barrels. I think adding that uh, glue to the top made it look a lot better. Didn't paint these ones, so but the stickers and again, the caution tape at the bottom, these are empty, these are hollow, that lid can still come off if people wanna take them off and put anything in them. This is the uh, Jeff Shear, or no, yeah, no, Adam, Adam I think made this um, out of the uh, tuna fish cans or chicken cans. This one's probably the best. Uh, the only thing I don't, um, you know, probably wouldn't have three rings there on most uh, 55 gallon drums. Probably just have two like this one. So but that one's probably the best height and <laughs> looks the best. My paint job on the yellow didn't turn out very well, but uh, again, it's just a fun weekend project. Nothing, nothing special. The black ones, again, I think they turned out pretty good. The caution tape really makes them pop. So, but I did glue these uh, lids back on so they are hollow and nothing can fit in them. Of course, I did put the uh, kryptonite or the radioactive material whatever you want to call it and all the uh, these plastic ones so those are filled with those um, I guess you could put them in these uh, taller ones if you didn't want the uh, that tar oil looking goop on it whatever you want to call that so I don't know uh, this one is uh, Jeff's here I think this might be the gold standard <laughs> when it when it comes to making your own barrel um, I did not do the uh, the gas tank look or put a gauge on there, but uh, he definitely did uh, did a great job on that, and I do appreciate that. Adam, I also appreciate uh, your video on showing you how to showing people how to make these. I think four is probably the perfect height on that one. So, not sure what I'm going to do with these. If anybody wants one, <laughs> let me know. I got plenty of them. Uh, but until next time, just a weekend project, and uh, as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.